Hi, this is a restaurant advertisement system I've developed as part of my MSc project. I've used Java EE for the backend and I've used the bootstrap components and a lot of customized CSS for the front end. To use the system, you have to be authenticated either as a staff or customer. And to create a customer account, you click on the button, it redirects you to a customer form where you fill in your details and click on sign up. You can also recover a password by clicking on that button and filling in this form. So now we're just going to log in as a customer. So welcome to the customer dashboard. The main aim of the system is to allow customers search for restaurants close to a specific postcode. And by default, it displays all the restaurants in the database sorted from the closest to the furthest. So let's just search Let's just use a postcode now, uh, a random postcode, uh, probably that one. When you click on search, what it does is it calls an external API, the UK postcode API, which returns a JSON format. And from that JSON format, there is a code that retrieves the longitude and latitude from the postcode to calculate the distance between the restaurant and the postcode. So that postcode is a Birmingham postcode. And the distance between this restaurant and that postcode is 114 kilometers. And it's also sorted from the closest to the furthest. Uh, you can use as many postcodes as you want. And one other thing that happens is to make the system as fast and effective as possible, when you search for a postcode, a save it in the database uh, to build up a kind of a cache. So, when next you search for that specific postcode, it doesn't have to make an API call. It just loads the data straight up from the database. One other thing you could do is you can filter restaurants based on type. So let's say the only restaurant you want on the list are fast food restaurants. You click on fast food. You can see any restaurant that is not fast food is removed from the list. One other thing you could do is filter by name. So for example, if I want only KFC on the list, I just type in KFC and you can see the only restaurant left on the list is KFC. I wonder what you could do is uh, you can view the full restaurant details by clicking on it, which displays their phone number, email address, average price, and the website etc. So now we're just going to log it, log out from the customer account, and log in as a staff. This is a staff dashboard. A is different from the customer dashboard because they have different roles so sims can view restaurants sorted by the restaurant type the caribbean restaurant for example and they can also search filter by name for example papa and there you go only papa jones left on the list one other thing you could do other stuff is you can add a new restaurant when you add a new restaurant uh, i've used uh, mjb the message driven bin to Calculate the distance between the newly added restaurant and the distance between every other postcode in the database and cache them in the database. So, for example, if a customer, after a new restaurant has been added, if a customer logs in, it doesn't calculate the distance at that moment because it's already done in the background before. It's just to improve the performance of the system and make it as fast as possible. Message driven bin is an asynchronous stack, so it doesn't really impact the the user experience all everything happens in the background uh, you can also edit restaurant details by clicking on the restaurant change whichever detail you want to and click on the save what other thing you can do is you can delay a restaurant and it comes out with a notification system just to alert you of what you're doing what other thing you can do is add restaurant type so for example fast food restaurant just click on add new type uh, enter the new type and that will be added to the database. So for example, a type can be uh, majorly cuisine. So if it's an Indian restaurant, you can pop it there. If it's a burger joint, you can put it there. And literally any type of restaurant. The aim is just to ensure consistency in the database. So when you add a new restaurant, the type restaurant type is loaded from the database instead of you having to type in the restaurant type of your choice. The application also has a SOA web service which exposes two different methods. So the first method takes in a postcode and the number of desired results and when you invoke the method, it displays all the restaurants closer to that postcode sorted from closest to furthest. Now, similarly to the customer dashboard, what happens when you 
uh, search for a specific uh, when you search for a specific postcode it checks the database if the postcode already exists in the database and if it doesn't exist in the database it makes the api call and catches the distance in the database the second method you put in a postcode the number of desired results and the type of restaurants you want and the desired results so for example we want just one fast food restaurant close to that postcode when we invoke the method we get just one result the distance and when you look at the type of the restaurant uh restaurant type it says fast food 